bird. All right, happy Monday. I am back on trail after taking the weekend off. If you didn't see the previous vlogs, I was at a family wedding this past weekend. My fiance was in town and had a good time. Last night, I stayed at the High Point State Park with Stretch and his friend. So we stayed at the campground and started hiking from the High Point State Park this morning. Did about maybe a mile and now I'm about to take the trail to the high point, so the highest spot in New Jersey. It's a little bit of a blue, bla blue blaze, but I'm gonna go up. It's a little foggy. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a view, but I wanna check it out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Stretch is not doing this trail to the monument because he did it yesterday. So he is at where the AT intersects this trail, watching my pack for me. So that makes it much easier. This is cool. I don't think anyone else is up here. Yeah, there's the monument. I can't see a view. It's pretty neat. All right, highest point in New Jersey. All right, that was pretty cool being the highest person in New Jersey for a second. And I'm back with Stretch and we're gonna hike 26 miles today. Woo! That's the plan. So I just met someone on trail. He was going south. He through hiked in 2019. And he said his, he said his name is D20, which if you don't know is a Dungeons and Dragons term, which my fiance is obsessed with. So I asked if he played and he said that he actually helped create the game in the 70s and so I just want to thank this guy because if it wasn't for him and him creating D&D &D, then I probably wouldn't have all this free time to through hike because that's all my fiance is doing right now is he's at home playing D&D &D three nights a week so that is what is keeping my through hike and my relationship going so thank you D20 <laughs> and also Chet is super jealous he asked if I got like an autograph and a photo with him. He probably thinks that D20 is a celebrity. So that's really cool. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a funny story that happened this morning that I completely forgot to vlog or talk about until now. So last night it was pouring rain while I was setting up my tent. So Stretch was helping me set up the tent. He's putting all my stuff in and he goes, oh, by the way, I didn't close the mesh all the way. And I said, oh, that's fine. I just hope spiders or anything don't crawl inside. And lo and behold, this morning, I'm getting all my stuff together and a frog <laughs> comes hopping up out of my stuff like across the tent and it freaked me out <laughs> it scared me i'm such a wimp when it comes to animals and so i had stretch's friend help me get the frog out of my tent so there we go taylor the new hampshire hiker is afraid of frogs
Entering the Wallkill River National Wildlife Refuge Liberty Loop Trail. <laughs> so this section of trail is about two miles and it goes around these marshes and ponds. I was just reading about it. It was created in, I think, 1990 and has some birds. So I'll keep an eye out for some birds. We're in a little bit of a time crunch today because we're trying to meet Dan, who we met on trail last week, um, at a certain time so he can drive us to the drive-in movie theater tonight when he gets out of work. So I'm just going to take a snack out of my pack and eat it as I walk around. This is what I picked up at Walmart to snack on. Let me take this out. This. Why do I need it? It's not doing anything. <laughs> my backpack can physically not get any smaller than it is right now. <laughs> like everything that. is strapped down. By the time you get to New Hampshire, Nothing left. <laughs> it, it, can't, it doesn't go any further. It's going to look like you're slack tracking. Hi, Cody. Hi, Taylor. How you doing? How you doing? Just peachy. How are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> you can kind of see the monument of the highest point in New Jersey. So that's where we were this morning. It's crazy how far we've hiked since then. All right, about to start the famous New Jersey boardwalk. The boardwalk. I've definitely seen this section of trail in a lot of vlogs before, so it's pretty cool to have finally found the boardwalk. Well, I was time lapsing. Stretch got a time lapse of me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I am about to start a big climb called the Stairway to Heaven, and it goes straight up for over a mile and almost 1,000 feet of elevation gain. So I'm ready. Lots of rocks on this section of trail. All right, we're getting close to a road where Dan is gonna pick us up and drive us to the drive-in movie theater. So that's where we're camping tonight and I'm really excited about that. He's got some trail magic near the parking lot. Taylor and Stretch, great job on the AT. Best wishes, Linda and Brian. There's so many goodies in there, I'm so excited. <laughs> Take that to the drive-in movies with us and have a feast. Oh We're gonna have a picnic. We're gonna have a picnic. <laughs> Just got to the drive-in. There's a little grassy area on a hill where we're gonna set up the tents. And you can see three screens right there. We just talked to someone who works here. There's outlets, there's concession stands, there's porta potties, and it's very hiker friendly. There's the outlet 
where I get to charge my phone and my power bank. All right, got a pizza pie, because that's what you call them in New York, apparently. And now just waiting for the movies to start. This was a great dinner. Did not expect to have a pizza place so close by, but I'm very happy about it.